Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord up in here. Glory to God. Hey, listen, I'm going to share something with you. It won't take uh, too much of your time, but listen to this. We were in the Bible study, and I want to share this with you, what God was saying to us. We were dealing with the blood of Christ, and, and, and so uh, we got to the scriptures, and, and, and out of the scriptures was birth to understand something, that God purchased our sin debt. He says, purchase our sin debt through the blood of Jesus. God purchased our sin debt through the blood of Jesus before we were born. Before you and I were born, God had already purchased our sin debt. And he said, well, what do you mean he purchased our sin debt? Well, the Bible lets us know, according to uh, uh, the covenant under the law, he lets us know. The scriptures uh, 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 allows us to see that they were under uh, a sin debt. Uh, that's why they brought the, the animals, uh, the atonement, because they were in debt to sin. Law pointed out man's sin, that he was uh, a sin, sinner, right? Amen. From Adam to Moses. We see that sin was a problem, but, but how did God deal with it under Moses? Well, uh, under the law, he brought them a law that would bring sacrifices and offerings. So, so he dealt with their sin according to bringing an offering, but the sin had never ceased because uh, sin was never done away with. So they had to continually bring the offering. You know, you, know, you know the story. But when we get to the blood of Christ, we see that he being the last sacrifice, his blood is sufficient for you and me. And we weren't even there yet. Listen, hold on. Because there's a debt of sin that has to be paid. God said in Christ, uh, uh, I'm paraphrasing, that in his death, because God is righteous and, and he is just. Uh, so in the death of Christ, he was not going to let the sins of the past sins of our forefathers go unpunished. So it's through the death of Christ that their sins were forgiven. Their sins were what? He said he's coming away, he's coming the Lamb of God who takes away, away the sins of the world. So their sins were dealt with through the blood of Christ. The debt that Adam brought us on us all, is it up on us all? Or is it up on from Adam to Moses? There's a debt of sin from Adam to Moses that they were not set free of until faith came, until Jesus comes. And then that's when the debt is paid through the blood. It is through the blood of Jesus. God purchased the sin debt. He paid the sin debt. Listen, let's, let's, let's make it natural. When you have a car note, you're in debt to a car note. Well, let's lose a mortgage. When you're indebted to a mortgage, you make a payment on that mortgage once a month. And as long as that uh, uh, payment, that debt is there. You keep making that payment. But when you make that last mortgage payment, you are free from the debt of that mortgage. Now the, the, the house, or the property, whatever it is, belongs to you of your own working and your own power that you paid the last payment on that debt, on that mortgage, and you're no longer debted in debt to that mortgage. But I want you to hear something else. So when you walk away from that debt, you are set free from that debt and you're walking in forgiveness. When you are released from the debt, you, you, are, you are walking in the freedom of forgiveness. You've been forgiven from the debt because why? You paid the debt. When you pay the last payment, you have been forgiven from the debt. That's what that is about. Paying the last payment on the debt sets you free. You've been forgiven from the debt. If the debt is not paid off, you're not forgiven. Only you can only experience forgiveness when the debt is paid. Do you hear where we're we going? What is God saying to us? Jesus being the last sacrifice, his blood was sufficient to pay the sin debt that you and I, this is after the cross, that we can walk in the forgiveness, what, of the debt being paid off. That you and I are walking in the forgiveness. We're walking in the freedom because the debt has been paid. So for me and you, 
after the cross, we do not have a sin death. I know that bothers some of you, but you need to search the scriptures. <laughs> Listen to this. Because after the cross, if we have accumulated a sin debt, because we look at our behavior and we've been told, you know, about our behavior. But if we have accumulated a sin debt, your works, my works, our good behavior will not satisfy the debt. It won't do it. Only through the blood of Christ. Without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. The forgiveness of sin comes with the blood satisfying the debt. Our forgiveness came with Jesus who had gone before us, who died before us. That debt required a life. Our sin required a life. The wages of sin is death. It required his life. Because he's the only one who had a light to lay down that was without sin. It was sufficient enough in the face of God. So we're not walking in a bed of sin after the cross. Why? Because Jesus' blood was sufficient that we can come to God. We can receive the grace of God, the mercy of God, and become what? Children of God, sons and daughters in his face. Now, no, 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 listen, listen, listen. Yes, sin has its consequences, but through the gospel message. See, because the gospel message is allowing us to see something. It brings a salvation. It brings a righteousness that sets us free in our conscience. See, we haven't heard it. How can you believe if you haven't heard it? And how can you believe what you haven't heard? So faith is playing a very vital role in this, that we would understand that the debt of sin has already been paid, already been purchased through the blood of Christ, so that me and you can freely come to God through his grace without no fear. Listen, don't let the devil trick you or keep you because of your behavior from receiving what God has for you. Now, with saying that, well, let me do say this. There's not a debt of sin after the cross. Jesus says, the world's sin is unbelief. The world's sin is unbelief in him because the world is rejecting the righteousness of God. It is the righteousness of God that was demonstrated at the cross, paid in full to justify us, that we can come freely and receive eternal life. The sin of unbelief is in the world, but we pray that all will come to repentance, change their mind the way that they're thinking through this great, wonderful message of grace. The gospel of Jesus Christ, who already paid your sin debt, that you can come to God for life. That is good news. Amen. We are free to love one another. Why? Because he's first loved us. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for this time. Uh, uh, there's some scriptures I would love to read, but I'll say it next time. Because, listen, he's already done it. He's already done it. Our debt was purchased before we were born that we can walk in this liberty. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Love you. And I'll see you next time.